Okay, Britt, 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 Britt Bunyard. Hey. It's been a while since I've seen you. Yeah, been a while since I've seen anyone. <laughs> That's the truth. So I'm going to do the, orig the original version that I know. And it was, this was taught to me by my friend Beaver, Beaver Truax. And Beaver... How come all your friends have really colorful names? I know. So um, the original recipe as portrayed to me by Beaver um, is uh, a chicken that's poached with um, Chateau, a, a, a yellow wine from Chateau Chalon, which is a village in the Jura in Eastern France. And the wine is like really expensive and made in small quantities, but it tastes a lot like sherry. Mm -hmm. So I substituted sherry from it for it since I can't get Chateau Chalon. Um, and then it's got like, uh, originally it was a whole chicken, a bottle of, Ch of Chateau Chalon or this yellow wine and a stick, maybe two of butter. And then it's finished with cream and tarragon. Yeah, yeah. And so your version of this is in a new book, right? That you're doing? Basically, mine's the same as yours. It's just, I use two kinds of sherry and, and also lots of it. And yeah. otherwise, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Well, let's make it together and see, you know, and play around with it and see how we're, we're the same and where we're, the, we're different, you know, not that many ways. All right. So I'm using, I have both dried morels and frozen morels. What about you? Dried morels. You're using dried. Okay. Well, so I'm just going to show you my frozen ones. They're like, I originally processed them in butter. Oh yeah. Those look good. Um, they are beautiful. They're, they're burn morels though. And uh, so that all that like white, this sticky, that's all like hard, you know, water, butter and, and water. So what I do is I, it usually takes me about 15 minutes to um, soften up the morels. Mm -hmm. Um, are yours already uh, softened up? Mine are not. Mine are still dried, and I just throw them on top of the chicken when it's going to be cooking, and then they just sort of steam and everything in the pot. So this is no great fuss. to do if but your morels are clean. Yeah, they're totally clean, and you can see I have them oh, gorgeous. Yeah, ready to go in jars, and you've got naturals there. Yeah, yellow morels from the Midwest. Yep, mine yeah. are naturals. So yep. the burn morels, you know, they got a lot of grit and stuff in them and you can't wash them before you dry them yeah. so you can see the color of my <laughs> liquid pretty dark so i'm going to actually run them through a little um you know cheesecloth of the uh hydrating liquid and then i'll just run it through um oh that's fun okay <laughs> and i'm gonna these are what i'll use for our morel dish all right so we both start with shallots, right? Yes. Okay. I'm doing, you know, two uh, big shallots. So they're peeled and thinly sliced. So the next step would be um, to heat up some butter in a heavy casserole. So I'm only going to use maybe a couple of tablespoons. Later, later I'm going to be like d dumping in the butter. Of course. Yeah, because that's <laughs> the dish, it's French. Yes. But I have found that it's too, the shallots obviously are more delicate than the yes. chicken. So chicken goes in first, gets a little starter, yes. gets the skin nice and brown. By the way, I'm using um, chicken thighs um, with the bone in mm -hmm. and the skin on. Yes. Andy. All right, I'm gonna stick in this piece of butter. Yep. And I'm warming up and uh, I'll be able to put my chicken in in a minute. Salt my chicken first. Give it a nice um, couple of grinds of black pepper. Um, and once the butter is beginning to, before it really browns or anything like that, I pop in those thighs, uh, skin down. Is that pretty much what you do? Yep, doing it right now. For me, I, I think it's ready to go. I'm gonna do it, mine's, mine's ready to go too. Excellent, let's put in our shallots, give them a couple of minutes to soften up, and then we're going to drown Ooh. these uh, thighs, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna drown mine in just straight cherry. Looks good. Yeah, 
and you're going to drown yours in a combo. Yeah, combo. Well, I'll post our two recipes, probably your recipe, on the fantasticfungi.com slash cookbook uh, um, uh, uh, mushroom recipe sharing platform so everybody can make the dish. But literally, you can put in, I just eyeball it, you know. So I'm going to cover my... I'm ready. (laughs) I'm going to cover it with share. I'm going to cover the chicken with share. Okay. And it's like gonna be significantly more than, often I just assume I'm gonna have a whole uh, bottle used up. All right, so now I'm gonna put some butter in there. Are you gonna put butter in there? This well, yeah. Is, How long have you known me? Yeah, of course. I mean, total, it's like four tablespoons of butter I add in. Okay. So if you've got dried, you're put, uh, dried morels, you can, you can just put them right in, right? I'm Did ready. You know? Ready to put them in. How many are you putting in? A whole jar. Well, the recipe is as much as you can manage, as much as you can stand, as much as you can get. Stuff them in there, yeah. Stuff them, okay, good. I, since mine are rehydrated, I'm not gonna put them in this early or I'm afraid they'll just disem- disintegrate. Although the truth is, something I've learned recently is that mushrooms can take a hell of a lot of heat. Yeah, I think so. I think it's the chitin and it's, it's tough. I mean, if you think about what, what, what fungi and and their fruit bodies have to go through, I mean, pressing through soil and wood and pushing up pavement and stuff. I mean, it's tough material. What's the name of the book? I I guess I haven't seen it yet. And it's uh, the beginner's guide to mushrooms. Fantastic. And a lot of basic stuff about wild mushrooms, what fungi do in the environment. Also some stuff about cultivation, if you want to try it at home and a lot of basic um, preparation notes, preservation notes. Yeah. All right, let's, how, what's going on with your- uh, Mine's looking great. Generally, I can turn it down to medium low and just like have it poach away. And then for 40 minutes. So we have, you know, we'll cut away. Um, so I, my chicken, I just did a little test on it. It's like, um, it's about two thirds of the way cooked through. So I'm going to add my um, dried, I mean, my, my rehydrated morels now. Um, and so that's going to cook away for another 10 minutes or so. And I'm going to chop up some tarragon because that's how I finish mine. But you finish yours with pasta. Should I start cooking it now? Yeah, yeah. You- you're almost done, right? I am, except for the pasta. But you, you want to see the finished product on the pasta, right? Well, yeah, I want to see how you serve it because you do it differently than me. Well, I'm chopping up the tarragon. Well, it is a little bit more than I need. That's a um, of tarragon. My chicken is pretty, uh, pretty close to being done. So what I'll, I want to do is, you know, take my chicken out and reduce. Yeah. How about you? I, I don't have really any excess liquid right now. So I'm just going to leave it right there for and wait for the cream to go in. And I have to say, my sauce is reduced to, I would say I'm reduced to about, you see how little, how much little? Yeah. When I take the chicken out, all these juices accumulate. So I'm going to pour them back in. Oh yeah. Don't let those go to waste. Don't let them go to waste. In mine, I'm going to put in about a half a cup or a little, yeah, about a half a cup of heavy cream. So I added, a. I just tasted for um, seasoning. Yeah. Okay. So you're pretty much there. All right. I'm putting my chicken back in to the pot that's got a little cream in it. Um, and it's got its nice fat cooked morels in it. And I'm also going to give it some black pepper. All right, I'm kind of like almost done. I'm gonna put in my tarragon because I put some in the pan and then I'll use the rest for garnish to make it pretty. So here's mine. That's gorgeous. So you can see. Oh, that's beautiful. So I'm just showing it to you now because Kevin is gonna go take it to the table and eat. Well, I'm taking my pasta out now. Well, it makes a good pasta, this leftover sauce, a big good pasta sauce. Strong one. Taste is very intense. 
It's not for the weak. Oh, that looks fantastic. Yeah, it, it could, use a little bit of, sauce. could use a little bit of green on top maybe, but otherwise. Wow, that looks fantastic. I like it on pasta. But just the smell, as you know from your kitchen, the smell from the morels is just super intense in our kitchen right now. It's just wonderful. Yeah. So you can, see, can see, look at that big fat morel. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. It's like yeah. a steak. Yeah. It's like a steak itself. You're going to eat it. Look at you. You just ate it like that. Like it didn't even, you know, like it didn't make you feel guilty at all. <laughs> Not at all. Mm. Oh, that's really good. It's so great hanging out with you. Britt Bun Bunyard. Thank always you. my pleasure to do anything you ever want. It's, it's always so fun. fun to be together. Thanks. Thanks, Britt. Yeah, my pleasure.